Hey YouTube, it's Evan. Back at it again. My game's running a little slow. I may have to clear out some of my mods folder. But I have done... I did do a video, but somehow the footage was deleted. Um, but basically, this is what I've done. Let it load in. There we go. But here's the school. Um, there's some houses around here. Um, some apartments. Um, all that. Um, the town now has a McDonald's. And, you know, I added some parking. Some, there's more gas station and Arby's. It's just, yeah, it's starting to look a lot better. So now, I even put like, you know, parents picking up with kids and all that. Um, so now I need to finish this portion and playground. And then I think I'm going to build a highway uh, that connects like right, right here for right now. Eventually it's going to go this way or something like that. But it's going to connect here and then in between the highway and this will be an intersection for um, our big apartments. And I think Weatel is going to go right here. But we got a lot of demand. So that's what I'm going to do. Here we are. Um, basically just putting some houses down right here. So, I basically fixed the demand problems with this, with it putting these houses here. Um, I really like the final tool. Um, my game seems a little slow, but I think it's because I didn't give it time to load. Yes, I do have a lot of assets, so that has a little bit to do with it. Um, but I just think I didn't give it enough time to, uh, to load. I'm about to put a playground right here. I was having a hard time getting it to snap to my group. So I just put that, moved it. And then I was having a little slow time here. But like I said, I think it was just because I didn't give it time to load. I literally went right in the game as soon as it loaded. And that wasn't a good idea. You you realize here in a little bit that it goes a little bit faster after this, um, after this and a couple other times, but we are putting some paths in. I thought it looked it started to look pretty good. Now we're about to get some fencing in. Right here, um, I take did a um. Oh, I forget what this is called. It's not bob wire, it's like, um, shit. Excuse my language, sorry. Um, I can't even think of the fencing at the moment. Um, but here we are, again, taking forever. We we'll actually find some trees. And then thank God for Bob because I was able to switch out the trees for um, the playground because it didn't look very good right here is where I switched out the trees to look at these big trees I chose first. <laughs> so um, they are a little different but they're not so. But here I go I'm about to begin doing a highway. I had a little problem right here. I tried to do parallel. parallel low tool but I was having some problems with it see and it didn't yeah so and here we go I know that's a little off but it's kind of hard to make it straight on so here we go I'm about to Start 
turning this one to turn into a tunnel. So I had to go up. I think it's, these actually turned out really well though. Here I go with this. You have, it looks better once I, you know, connect it all. And here we go, I right here. I was going to try to make the road look like that, but it just didn't turn out very well, so. Yeah, there we go with this. And I still need to do some fine tuning to the highway. Um, because it doesn't really, yeah, it really doesn't, you know, line up in all parts. But here we go. And we're about to connect it. I was trying to figure out how to turn my trees off because I, for, for the life of me, I cannot get my trees to, to stop, you know, going in the middle of my roads. So, I got collision, I took collision off many times, I don't know. And then here I was having problems deleting that tunnel. I literally spent like freaking five, ten minutes on trying to get that off, and I could not get it off. It wouldn't go underground or anything. It would let me change it, but it wouldn't let me delete it. Um, so here I am just continuing to um, work on that. So, just trying to delete it. I was hoping that that would delete it, but see, it wouldn't let me select none of it. So I was having problems. I was trying to connect to there. It wouldn't connect. Nothing. Nothing was working for me. Um, I eventually figure it out, but yeah, I was just. I kept on having all these problems, and I tried to buy it back you know, back to the road, but I think it's where I did the diagonal road. Um, I think that's what happens. So now I'm just, I did that, didn't work. So then I finally just basically go under road, tried doing the note remover, couldn't do it. So now this is how I got it fixed. Finally, it'll let me go underground, and I basically use the note editor. There we go. That's how we get rid of it. See? So all I have to do is do that for now on, I guess, because it just was giving me problems. But here we go. still doesn't look the best um, so I had to basically redo it all and then <clears throat> basically this is what I'm doing to make it all look better I like these freaking tools on unified UI this is the sloping pool I really like it makes it look a lot more real, realistic and then here we are about to work on this part I do like a lamp <sighs> moving them out a little bit to make them look a little bit better I was thinking about putting the road right in the middle but then I'm like nah it's not gonna work out so I didn't I just did lamps but might still need some fine tuning. I like how I put this ramp right here in the middle. And then I did that to that. I um make it look a little bit better than that. Excuse me, I'm running a little cold today, I think. So and then I move that back just a little bit. And it's starting to look ten times better. Now I'm going to slope all of this. And then now i got to slope the exit. And it's start, all starting to look a lot better. Um, then i got to slope this. Then i got to slope 
And then I'm going to slope this. I think I delete that note because it was looking a little finicky. Yeah, I think that is that the only note. No, maybe that is the only note I deleted. And then I turn this into three lanes because I'm like, oh, you probably should. And then I turn, I was looking around on roads for this. And I'm like, you know what? Let's turn it three lanes and then down to two lanes. I was looking that way and I really didn't like it. For this type. I'm sorry that I'm yawning. I haven't, I didn't have much sleep last night. Um, hopefully, I'll also have Sims 3 up for y'all. Or Sims 4. Sims 3, man, that was back in the heyday. Uh, they, um, growing together expansion pack. I pre-ordered it, so I should be getting it about 1 p.m. today. So, uh, if I'm home, I should start recording it at that time. But I'm also going to be recording some videos for my other channel, too. Uh, possibly today. So... I was just messing with that, and I'm like, uh, it just looks better that way. Just do that. That looks sometimes better. Okay, and then here we are doing some line work here. Don't worry, I didn't uh, finish um, painting the lines yet. I figured I could wait to the next episode because we're already like halfway through this video, and I just like spent a lot of time on this. This is like almost an hour long segment so how do we do that exit ramp again because it wasn't lo looking good so here we go we did it and then now it looks better see how much better it looks okay. so see how much faster my game seems to be moving to of course it might be just because I'm selecting the roads now um, but here we are um, now fixing this portion. I even we did the uh, the highway that I did originally. Um, so here we are, just doing that. Don't worry, that goes all down. I go put it down to that level right there. And I look, seeing the highway was a little high. But then I realized, oh, well, I could just make a long X ramp. That's what I did. So, but here we go with um, making an extra node in there to create a interchange like that. So I just created an interchange. Okay. Now I'm doing another interchange. Don't worry, I noticed that the highway was super close to the interchange. So I actually we did it. Uh, I did a uh, I did a. Um, elevated piece for the highway and leveled the terrain around it to make it look more natural but um it looks it's starting it'll, it'll start looking pretty good here in a minute um here we go i think right here yeah we're about to do it right here okay it looks a little strange right now but as soon as i soften the terrain around it it looks so much better um, we, I can't believe we're almost for this video. We only got like four, four minutes of the speed, speed lapse. Let me know if the speed lap is too fast. It's, uh, 2.5 of the leave. Um, 2.5, something like that. 2.8, something. But here we are, softening the terrain, making it look a little bit more natural. I'm not a very big... Good. I'm not good at like softening the terrain. Um, if we soften the terrain there, we realize that there's some not natural looking stuff there. So I'm about to go back to the roads. Oh, I accidentally am. I should have saved, but I didn't. Um, 
but here we are making it look a little bit more natural and then I'm like oh that doesn't look that good um, for that uh, I was having some problems with that connection looking like so what I've done is done that and then I deleted a portion and then basically that made it look ten times better um, then there we go and then I'm pretty sure I mess yeah I mess with um, another no <laughs> I hit the wrong one um, this makes the curves better here somewhere's here there we go I, I, I'm just now messing around with some of these tools that we got available to us but here we are with this making all of this look better so then we are making this look better, more like a ramp. Um, let me see. Um, eventually, I think I plan on, you know, making that road continue up the mountain. I mean, on the other side of the map. And here we are just basically sloping all of this making it look better curving that a little bit to make it look even more better um, and not junky junky or whatever and then I realized that I messed up there and I'm like crap so now I gotta we do that again I feel like you know yeah some of these are kind of steep but I feel like that would be okay for an exit ramp because you know you would go slow on an exit ramp anyways you know what I mean as long as the slope next to the highway. So here we are about to redo this. I'm putting three lanes there for turning lanes. Um, and that's the only portion of the highway other than where the, the basically interstate ends at the moment. Um, but here we are putting some more turning lanes for this to make it, you know, more. And then um, here we go right here. Um, add more to this. I think this really turned out really good um, at the ending. Um, and then I hate getting rid of roads, but I think at the end of the time, you know, this would be part of the highway improvement project uh, that they would pave all of this and add the necessary turning lanes that they need. And then here I am, I'm like, that doesn't look that good with that so what I'm going to do is yeah I, I I make it like that and basically these highway segments right here are them yeah and I just feel like that's something they would do recently done a high would have been built recently but they wouldn't have you know made the whole thing concrete they would have made it back top like that when they met um, just waiting Here we are about to put the parking lot in for the other apartment complex. Um, I think I might do another apartment complex um, on the other side. Um, I'm also probably going to do some farmland to the left of this intersection right here. Some more farmland. Here I am putting these roads in. Um, I still got to do some note editing on them um, to make them not have crosswalks and all that. I was just going for here looking for apartments that I wanted to choose. I didn't want nothing too fancy because these are kind of like government housing, you know, government assisted apartments. Um, so that's what, oh, I messed up there. So I had to delete that. Um, but I think it turned out pretty well. And then this one on here didn't look very good. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put this one here and scoot it down a little bit. Move it. So that's what I've done. And then um, I'm about to put the parking spots in. So uh, the parking lot area turned out really good. Really good. I was very impressed with how the parking lot area turned out how the parking just lined up like that that looks so good so good so here we go adding more parking and then I'm about to fix this to make this look better too and then there we go with that so I feel like that's enough parking for this especially for like government housing you know what I mean there's only like 10 people in each of these so I think I 
did it in a live portion after this. And I think there's like 150 to 160 people in these apartment complex, which should fix most of our um, residential. Well, 150 apartments. So that should fix it, most of our residential to pan. So here we are um, adding trees to make it look more natural. And maybe I need to add some flowers, maybe. And some of them trees need to be tucked away. Um, then here we are about to smooth in the cliff side. And, um, we're almost done with this one. We, um, yeah, we're almost done. We only have, like, a minute left of this video, and then it's back to the live portion. Um, but I'm going to end it here. So, enjoy the last couple seconds or so of the video. And I will talk to you in the live portion. Hey YouTube, so I'm back with the live portion, second live portion. Um, I did this, um, I guess, government housing. It still needs some detailing and all that done. But I've done this highway here. Um, yeah, but this eventually is gonna be, this will be more farmland. This is gonna be more trees. Um, that I've done this highway and basically this will be a little bit more housing, the rest will be retail. The highway will continue later on, but it just basically deducts down to this. Um, I decided to redo all of this here to match that. Um, I also did this playground for the school, which I think turned out pretty good. Oh, for some reason I got pulled over, but here we go. There we go. Okay. And of course I showed this last time. This I guess can be more government housing and there's some more government housing. Um, I filled in this section right here, I believe. Um, I really like how this area is turning out. Um, hopefully that's enough residential. How many people live? Yeah, 10. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. So like 140 or 150, something like that. So that should be enough to fill my demand. Um, I hope you enjoy this episode, and that's really it. Um, hopefully soon I can... I'm probably planning on putting this road this way. So there'll be another way to get to this portion of town, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you later. Thank you.